so much is happening in the Gaza Strip. It was only a few weeks ago that we said uh, next Friday is going to be a test for whether or not these international efforts ongoing in the Strip and in Israel might succeed or not. Looking at one international player, Egypt, who's trying to reconcile between the sides, can it move any, for, any more forward now that we are seeing these events still happening? Look, there have been many attempts in the past to reach a compromise between uh, the Palestinian Authority, the PLO, and Hamas. I think there have been eight agreements in the past eight years, in the past ten years. Uh, if they, they've all failed, so it's not the first time that such uh, attempts have been made, and it's not the first time it has uh, failed. Now, with regard to Egypt, uh, obviously there's pressure on Egypt to do something about Gaza, because there is a humanitarian crisis in Gaza, and yet the uh, blockade on Gaza is also imposed by Egypt, especially on the border between Egypt and Sinai. But Egypt uh, doesn't really want to open the border because it has enough problem with uh, radical, uh, uh, with extremists uh, uh, that act in the Sinai Peninsula. Uh, but there is pressure from the Trump administration, and some in Israel are saying that, that Egypt should ease the opening of the border, or, or at least open partially the border with, with the Gaza Strip, to try and alleviate the, uh, the, uh, uh, the situation there and the uh, a humanitarian disaster going on there. Now, Dr. Novani, you're mentioning the Trump administration's uh, pressure uh, to alleviate the situation uh, in Gaza. And of course, the Trump administration is still working on a peace plan uh, for this region. But uh, the truth is, the, the pressure is coming on onto Israel, not just from the Trump administration. The international community is growing more and more wary of uh, what's going on on the border. Right, because we, we know that there's a problem in the Gaza Strip, everybody knows it, but the question is what to do about it. I mean, what is the, uh, the solution? Uh, if Israel were to completely remove uh, the, uh, the embargo, the, the sea embargo, so then there would be a massive import of weapons from, uh, from Iran because of the connection between Gaza and Iran. Uh, on the other hand, maintaining the embargo is uh, also putting a lot of pressure on the population. Do we want to negotiate with Hamas or not? The Israeli government does not want to negotiate with Hamas, so it's really a catch-22 situation. And I think the only way to get out of this catch-22 situation is really to have a coordinated policy between Egypt, Israel, the United States, and maybe other members of the uh, international community. The, the French government has been talking about this, but there has to be a coordinated effort in order to try to alleviate the situation in Gaza without th strengthening the regime of Hamas. Coordination, certainly something we're missing in this region in general. Thank you very much, Dr. Emmanuel Navon, for joining me for this.